Hey everyone, Madman here, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. And that's the wrong intro. <laughs> and this is take two of my... Because in my last video, I was trying to do an Achievement Hunter community video. Because I think there... I barely, well, I barely checked. But I don't think anyone has submitted any Achievement Hunter videos of XCOM Enemy Unknown. And well, I, I guess you could say... I want to be the first. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Also, the, you know, yeah, I didn't do it, but I didn't restart or, you know, make this take two because anyone died or anything. It's just wasn't just working out. All right. So enough of that. Let's continue. And as you can see, we got heavy weapons platform in five days, precision lasers in six, and the council report in nine. All right. Let's speed it up. Request from Nigeria. Weapons fragments. Nigeria engineers have been clamoring to get their hands on some alien weapon weapons technology. If they can piece together the fragment fragmented weapons we have, they just might be able to make something to help protect their people. And the rewards are 56... Uh, I don't know what to call them. Credits, I guess? So, yeah, why not? Reports of Nigeria forces have new advanced weapons on the battlefield are starting to crop up. Wonder where they got those. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I wonder. It's like they just got him from some unknown source. <laughs> Shifting eyes left, right. All right, <laughs> let's continue. And Captain uh, Armaeus Bakersfield has returned to active duty. Good. And we got 118 credits. And I already know what I want to buy. We gotta get some laser rifles. Fire when ready. Oh, trust me, guys. Those laser rifles are going to help out a lot. You know how before floater, floaters were pain in the ass? These things can pretty much knock them down out of the sky. And I just want to get one for Chainsaw here. Guess what, Chainsaw? You get your own private laser pistol. Alright. And we have the heavy weapons platform. Uh, I'll talk about that later. And we got precision lasers and the council report in four days. Looks like they've changed their tactics, but why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. And this is the terror mission. And like I said earlier, this mission can either make you or break you. Not to mention this is, was the f bad feeling I had in the pit of my stomach the whole time. All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, there is actually a t an achievement in t tied in with the this type of mission, terror missions. The, the achievement is called Like a Scalpel. Yes, just based off the internet meme, like a boss. Except this one is a little bit different and a lot harder. So, how do I put it like this? Hey everyone, Madman here, and this is another video for Achievement Hunter Community Video Websites. And this one, I'm going to show you how to get Like a Scalpel achievement. Yes, just like based off the Like a Boss meme. Let's go. Uh, right off the bat, you don't need two snipers. <laughs> You definitely want to, though, want to equip. Let's see, how much damage does the shotgun do again? Basically. Right off the bat, when it comes to these missions, you definitely want to... Have, by this point in the game, you definitely want to have lasers. You want to have laser rifles, because laser weapons do mass amount of damage compared to uh, projectile weapons. You also want to have a medic with you on standby, a sniper, and also I highly, uh, I'm against bringing new recruits on a mission, on terror missions, but I don't have much of a choice. If you do have to bring a new recruit on the mission, make sure he has a scope that will help with his aim, and also give him a laser rifle. So we have a sniper. Also for your sniper, you definitely want to have a pretty, with pretty much with all your troops, you want to have a highly, uh, just very, very high rank. Also, oh wait, I forgot. Laser pistol. Basic two? How's this damn, that's a basic pistol. One, no. Oh. That's why. Yes, as you can see here with the sniper, you have the headshot, squad sight, battle scanner, and damn good ground. You definitely want to have a sniper with a lot of good abilities that can get, do a lot of damage. And also, you can tell, has a lot of aim. I mean, it went from 84 because of its, its base is 84, but with a scope, it's now 94. Pretty much will almost never miss. Still a small percentage, though, that it will. But don't need to worry about that. And, uh, I don't want to bring an arc thrower. You, on the terror missions, especially the first one, you don't want to worry about capturing aliens on this mission, but you definitely want to think about dealing as much damage as possible to these aliens. Especially since in the cutscene, there's a cutscene when they introduce the, the uh, terror mission that shows uh, a new alien that's very, very deadly and just as frustrating as any other alien you'll ever meet in this game. Alright. So, before a terror mission, you want to have highly, highly upgraded soldiers, as well as highly upgraded weaponry. Once you have all that, you're ready to take on a terror mission. And also, pray for a good map. We have an alien terror attack in China. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. All right, let's descend into hell. We're heading into China for the next operation. We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated urban center. We should move to secure the area and minimize further civilian casualties. Okay, this is a really good map to try and get the like a scalpel achievement. Also, to get the like a scalpel achievement, I should probably tell you what you have to do in order to get it. Hmm, sounds sounds pretty good. Do you in order to get like a scalpel achievement? You have to have excellent in every category. There are three categories in this one. You have to a have all your XCOM soldiers live, every single one of them. B, all the aliens have to be killed, which that one's kind of a given because there's no other way to end the mission. Well, 
besides saving as many civilians. Which leads us to C. You have to save as many civilians as possible. Now, you think in this mission you want to save, want to go up to and save every civilian you can. That's, that's a good idea. But, a better idea is to kill all the aliens as fast as you can. By killing all the aliens, the mission ends and all the civilians that are in the area are then automatically saved. So, you definitely want to kill all the aliens as soon as you can. And this is a good mission to do it on, too. Alright, Operation Driving Empire is a go. Sorry about that, and right off the bat, you definitely, especially if you're really, really, you really want to get the achievements, I recommend doing a save before the mission begins. Well, technically the mission has begun, but you're just kind of, you know, before your first move. Also, you want to try and get the Like a Scalpel achievement on the first terror mission that the game provides to you, because the aliens are pretty easy to take care of, and if you try to do this on the second or third terror mission, the aliens are a lot tougher, especially, and also there's going to be more of them. So, it's very wise to try and get this achievement on the uh, first terror mission. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Uh, another reason to bring a sniper with you on a mission like this is the battle scanner. The battle scanner, just like in the description, throws a small scanning device that ex extends the squad vision and helps also flush out any possible aliens in the area. Eyes open. So far, so good. Heading to that location. On, the on these missions, you also want to play offensively, but at the same time defensively. So, solid copy, Commander. So just keep that in mind. And you also want to keep your squad uh, together Heading as to much as location. possible. Roger. And use a lot of Overwatch. Over. Alright, that's good. Aliens don't have a victim yet. Alright, as you can see here, when you have a blue circle around, that means the civilian can be saved. You just have to enter the circle. Moving. You're good to go. Now move. And as you can tell by the uh, bar above, on the top of the screen, there's 17 civilians. Uh, green means how many civilians we save, and uh, one that's red and has an X going through it. Uh, that one's kind of obvious. Overwatch. Aye, aye. That's affirmative. I got you. Go. I feel, Commander. Also, this map is actually, surprisingly, is actually the first, um... It is actually, in fact, the uh, first, uh... Actually, not the first. This is the map I actually got the achievement on, personally. So, this map you want to actually try and aim for. And also, word, is of, word of advice, if the first time you get a map that either A, you're losing on, or B, it's not this map, you could just uh, reload your game before the Terran mission begins, and it actually, well, at least the first, before the game introduces you to the Terran missions, you just reload the save, and it will change the map. Got it. Moving. Good to go. Got it covered. 
I don't think we're alone out here. Hmm. That's that that place is way too easy to get flanked. Heading out. Move your ass. You're safe. Really? Still no sighting of aliens? Hmm. Hmm. Probably because we're up to ahead, the aliens are probably still right over here. You know what? Let's set up let's set up a nice little salt. Yeah, definitely on this mission, especially terror missions, they're always intense, so you definitely wanna stay focused. So I know it's against the uh, Achievement Hunter community video that you have to have commentary throughout the whole entire thing, but you definitely want to stay cool and keep your mind focused. This is definitely a game that you can't just run around and just, uh, you know, focus on Twitch shooting. Oh, gosh. I really don't want to risk this, but I gotta stay ahead in the lead. I'm on it, Commander. Go on, head to the ship. Roger that. Scanning. On Overwatch. Positive enemy contacts. He's down. And the chainsaw comes through again. They're trying to pull back. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Also, my uh, is my heavy here. Uh, hit for his light machine gun. If he attacks first on an alien, he gets hollow targeting. You definitely want to bring a heavy with you that has hollow targeting because that'll add plus 10 to anyone's aim who attacks the same alien. All right. Plus, we have a 58% chance of hitting him, so I like those odds. All right, knock that bastard out of the sky. Take him out. How do you miss? Negative damage. All right, try again. He's down. Yep. All right, move the sniper up. Location confirmed. Headed there now. Also, this is also another reason that you want to choose this map for getting the like a scalpel achievement. Is that in fact it is actually a pretty small map? Got it covered. Damn it. Shot wide. All right, that was a cutscene. So the aliens got to go into hiding, plus, they can't make another move. I'm being flanked. Eighty percent. Take him out. Him. That's another reason why I like these laser rifles. Before, it used to take two men to. Moving out. I got you. You're safe. Arlo up. 
wish I could move into a better cover position. Oh, I definitely want, don't want to move up there. Any chance. Yeah, on these terror missions, again, you're introduced to a new alien, and there actually is a place where they do pretty much pop up where they're freaking annoying. And my friend just came online. That's affirmative. All right. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Come on, Bakersfield. Yeah! Shut up. Listen. Yep, I know what's coming. Heading to that location. Roger, I've got my eyes on it. Rolling up. At least now I know the location of the two other aliens. I'm on it. Too far. Heading to that location. On Overwatch. Okay. Copy that. Got it covered. Damn it. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I'm on the move. Can any one of these guys see? Cover going out. <laughs> Roger, I've got my eyes on. On the move. are definitely moving. On my way. I feel commander. Moving out. You're safe. Now get moving. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Really? Still nobody sees this damn thing? on target location. This negates any hope we have of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. This specimen is nothing like the others. Seems like they've got one of everything. Come on, take him out. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, I can't risk one of my men getting killed by that ugly thing. Damn it, I can't get any closer, son of a bitch. Moving out. Alright. 68%. Alright. Alright, hopefully the gods are on my side today. By the nine, help me. And that's what I like to see. Man, too bad the alien body didn't fly over the edge, man. That would be friggin' epic. But oh well, it's not Hollywood. Alright. Affirmative, covering now. You always want to put your sniper on Overwatch. <sighs> friggin' alien. Just ran over there.
Solid copy. All right. This is the last alien, and you want to kill him fast. Take him out. Six damage. My weapon sped. Right up here. Moving to position. Run and gun. Moving to firing position. I'm rolling. All right, take him out. Got him. Need a resupply. What? How is that? Not the last one. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Where is the last one then? Moving to designated position. Eyes field, Commander. Where is that last one? <laughs> we nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. All right. I guess I'm going to be doing this, um... Guess I'm gonna be doing this like a scalpel achievement off, uh, like a scalpel achievement off uh, camera. Uh, that's a shame. I really wanted to capture that now. Let's play. Oh well. Still, I gotta admit this was a very successful operation. Uh, we got uh, 11 civilians saved out of 18. We we lost none of our operatives, and we got we killed six aliens. Actually, the reason why there was that one alien. Those, uh, those creatures, they're called something else. I call them four-legged freaks. Those, uh, creatures, those aliens, they do something after, if they kill an alien... Wait, no, that's, that's something else and different. Oh, well, hopefully I'll be able to talk about it later. All right, let's report back to base. Still, that was a very, very good operation. And plus, we did very well on that terror mission. Panic across the whole... Not only panic in China will drop, but all the all the uh, Asian countries as well. That's why you want to do good on terror missions. If you do well, it really helps lower panic like crazy. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Who wouldn't? I mean, none of them are hurt, and look at them. All of them are promoted. Captain Arlo1024, his nickname is Casino. Wow. And Armor, Armaeus Bakersfield, nickname is Android. Uh, man, I forgot. Man, I forgot what he, what kind of nickname he wanted. I'll, I'll have to print off the, I'll have to find the email later. All right, let's see here. What does Magic Man Kelly get? Um, dense smoke. You always want to do combat drugs, in my opinion. Uh, smoke grenades now contain, contain powerful stimulants that will grant 20, per, per, 20 plus will and 10% increase in critical chance for all units in the cloud. Definitely want to do that. Uh, Arlo1024, nicknamed Casino. He's promoted to Sergeant. Uh, suppression, I've never understood how to use that properly. You can fire a special shot that grants reaction fire at a single target that also... I've never understood the, how that one works. So, Shredder Rocket. Fires a rocket that causes all enemies to take 33% uh, 30 increase in damage from all sources. For the next four turns, the rocket blast is weaker than a standard rocket. Yeah, I've never understood how to use suppression well. If someone can actually explain me how to use it well, that would be... I'd be grateful. Alright, let's see what the chainsaw gets. Executioner confer confers up 10 plus... Aim against targets with less than 50% health. Opportunist eliminates eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits. I like the sound of that. And now for Bakersfield. Uh, lightning reflexes. You always want lightning reflexes. And for Daniel Powell. Okay, he's an assault. Running gun is automatic. All right. Chrysalid, or chrysalis, chrysalid, yeah, those are the, I call them four-legged freaks. 
Alright, so we got four floater corpses, two chrysalis corpses, and eight weapon fragments. Eh, not as much as I wanted, but, well, all my men came back alive and we did good. Operation Driving Empire, Council Transmission. The XCOM, XCOM squad deployed China has successfully stopped a terror attack in, I can't pronounce that city, save my life. Panic in China has decreased by two. Panic has decreased across Asia. That's what I like to hear. We will be in touch, Commander. Thank you, Council. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. You see that? You see that right there? Look how much Asia has calmed down. I mean, China is calm, Japan is calm, India, Australia, all of Asia is just... Well, the rest of the world, obviously, is freaking out. Well, uh, what's... Images of Nigerian soldiers going to battle with advanced alien weaponry posted on internet. Huh. That's good to know. Witnesses claim to have seen unidentified military oper operatives capturing hostile alien alive. Raises specter specter of government involvement. I wish we had the specters. Commander Shepard would help out a lot. Unusual aircraft spotted hovering near Cairo caught on film. Experts baffled as to unknown origin. Pro -alien. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. The aliens certainly have come a long way. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, the Bureau XCOM Declassified will be even more awesome in this game. I'm looking forward to that. Successful of inclusion by the mysterious operatives in China bolsters public confidence in government response to alien threats. That's the XCOM initiative for you. Alright, so I'm definitely saving right here I definitely want to try and go for I definitely want to off camera of course try and make a video of how to get like a scalpel achievement I really want to do that for achievement hunter a lot of you guys are probably probably asking me why am I doing this is because uh, uh, hopefully in the future I really want to work for rooster teeth as well as achievement hunter and Ray who's extremely popular on uh, achievement hunter not to mention he's won like all a lot of versus ma matches as well as the tower of pimps multiple times he submitted um, Achievement Hunter community videos a couple times, and they, and then a couple months later, he was hired. Uh, I mean, I submitted a couple game fails, but I think if I really want to get noticed, I have to submit uh, Achievement Hunter videos. And one of my friends just came online, Skull CD. Well, to be fair, I did submit an Achievement, Achievement Hunter community video of an Easter egg or slash reference to Far Cry 2 and Far Cry 3. So hopefully... Um, you know, they'll see that. Uh, maybe I'll contact Caleb on Twitter. Maybe I can... I don't want to grease the wheels or anything, but I definitely want to get noticed. Maybe I'll tell him, hey, how long does it take to uh, for a community video to be uploaded or something? Because I can only imagine how many videos uh, Rooster Teeth as well as Achievement Hunter gets a day. Probably thousands. Okay, so... And did I just save? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did right there. Let's get precision lasers. There we go. Precision lasers. Research report. Opera codename Lightwire. <laughs> April 2015. Precision lasers. Scatter laser available for manufacturer. Light laser sniper rifle available for manufacturer. Chainsaw, I'll get your laser sniper rifle as soon as possible. After a number of failed experiments, we finally succeeded in focusing an accelerated energy pulse through a narrow field lens while still maintaining adequate energy efficiency. The result is an extremely capable weapon akin to a traditional sniper rifle, but with a much greater chance to, of inflicting critical damage on enemy targets. Hmm. We believe this weapon is now ready for deployment in the field once Dr. Shen and his team complete the, the fabrication process. During our testing, we also developed another prototype operating on the same principle, but relying on modified prism to scatter laser beam rather than focus it. We envision this weapon filling the same tactical role as a traditional shotgun. Hmm but without the ammunition constraints and with greater damage output. I like what I hear so far. However, as with other laser-based weaponry, heat dissipation issues continue to plague these designs. Well, in the meantime, we'll still use them against the aliens. And there she blows. The scatter, the scatter laser is capable of inflicting considered damage. However, accuracy suffers greatly at the range of the target increase. Yeah, that's the same with every shotgun. 
Laser sniper rifle. Laser sniper rifle can covers provides a great chance of inflicting critical damage to enemy targets. However, due to the unwieldy nature of this rifle, our soldiers will suffer a penalty. Will attempt to strike targets at close range. Damn. All right, let's see what other stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we gotta get uh, this autopsy done since it's done instantly. Chrysalid corpse. A, cr a cursory examination of this creature reveals that it's similar s in structure to several insect insect species found on Earth. Although covered in incredibly hard exoskeleton, the, the six appendages of this alien are nevertheless exceedingly light and flexible. Yeah, it's got four legs and two arms. All right. Let's put this thing on the slab. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Call it whatever the hell you want to call it, Doctor. I call it a four-legged freak. Codename, Ridley? Is that a reference to Ridley's Believe It or Not? Eh. All right, the autopsy report. Even after years of research and studying until now, I've never encountered something that is quite as beautiful yet as equally de deadly as this species. Beautiful, my ass! Unlikely the other aliens we've encountered thus far, it is a uh, arthropodal. Arthropodal? Uh, in nature, plated in a sleek black exoskeleton. <laughs> Sounds like a car. The chrysalids, as we are calling them, based on their reproductive habits. Hmm. Parents, you might want to get your kids out of the room now. Measure over three meters long from nose to tail. Hmm. And standing almost two meters high when perched on their hind legs. Their attack is not only extremely deadly, but also necessary for their reproduction. As, intended, as the intended victim is not immediately killed, but instead turned into what can only be described as a mindless shell, akin to a zombie, which serves as a host to its offspring. When a human is bitten, an embryo is injected into the host and immediately begins to gestate. What the? Once gestation is complete, which is remarkably lasts only minutes, a newborn chrysalis will emerge, and destroying its host in the process. One can only wonder why the aliens would want to utilize what appears to be a savage, unpredictable creature. Because they're fucked up! In any case, this is certainly not a creature to be trifled with, and our troops will do well to exercise extreme caution while engaging this species. Targeting targeting another example in the field through the unit and unit analysis view may provide additional information also to its combat capabilities yeah like like I said oh now I get the code name not Ridley as in Ridley uh, Ridley's believe it or not but Ridley as in Ridley Scott alien now I get it <laughs> that's a, uh, again that's pretty freaking awesome hey maybe Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. Hey, everyone. Madman here. And welcome to another Achievement Hunter community video. And this is for XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Uh, throughout the game, you do these uh, autopsies. And each of the autopsies has a code name for their the research report. And this one I recently just got from, well, at least an attempt to show how to get how to get the achievement like a scalpel. Hopefully I'll be uploading that video soon enough. But this one is pretty interesting. The code name for it is Ridley. Now, to people who actually play the XCOM series, they know that this alien, as you can see here, uh, their alien, this alien, when he kills a, a creature, well, a human, or one of your soldiers, it implants an egg in the the victim. Actually, it says right here, their attack is not only extremely deadly, but also necessary for their reproduction, as an intended victim is not immediately killed, but instead is turned into what can only be described as a mindless shell, akin to a zombie, which serves as a host to its offspring. When a human is bitten, an embryo is injected into the host and immediately begins to gestate. Once gestation is complete, which remarkably lasts only minutes, a newborn chrysalis will emerge, destroying its host in the process. 
Can anyone guess why they called this, uh, they codenamed this research report Ridley? I'll give you one hint. Alien. Yep, Ridley from Ridley Scott's Alien. And also if you want to throw in James Cameron's Aliens if you want. Not the game, just, just the movie. <laughs> but I, I thought that was a nice little Easter egg they put in this, uh, game. I mean, to be fair, this XCOM game is awesome, but at the same time frustrating. Only recommend for those who really want a good challenge. Well, I'm the Madman. This was a cool little Easter egg I thought I'd bring to the Achievement Hunter website, and hopefully I'll be uploading soon. Ma many more soon. <laughs> a little error right there. Oh well. You can't expect perfection all the time. I'm the Madman, and stay tuned for more. Later. Eh, I thought that was pretty good. I'll probably uh, edit that after uh, after I edit this Let's Play episode. Hopefully you guys will be seeing that on the Achievement Hunter video. I'm sorry guys, but it's just, I really want to get noticed on that website, and I figure what's better than submitting material. Still, that's a pretty Ridley. That's actually, that's actually, that's actually a really good reference. <laughs> All right. All right, let's actually get back. And a new item is available: chintin plating, light plate, ma light plating made from the chrysalis exoskeleton. This material provides additional protection and significant reduction to melee damage sustained. Actually, I might want to actually think about investing in this. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, man, all this other shit's gonna take way too long. We might as well do alien materials. Alien materials fast. Project cost five weapon fragments. Aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen before. A curio our cur curiosor examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve soldiers' current body armor, but more research required. Basic armor technology research credit applies, reducing, reducing react research time to 50%. So it's going to take three days. All right. And we got three days until the next council report, so let's blow them. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Okay, XCOM project monthly report April 2015. We shot down one UFO, we stopped one terror mission, we stopped two abductions, we completed seven research projects, and two UFOs were raided. We got $325, we got plus two scientists and engineers. So far, South America, Europe, and Asia seem to be all right. Okay, Europe is a little bit in the red, but we can fix that. But North America and Africa seem to be pretty close. Hmm. Hey, got, hey viewers, which uh, country should I focus on more, Africa or North America? Hmm, I don't know. I gotta start getting some more satellites in the sky. Remember, we will be watching. And that still makes me paranoid. <laughs> Alright, and uh, Alien Materials Research Project is complete. Nanofiber vests available for manufacturing. Looking glass. I don't know if there's a... I don't know. Someone could probably point that out as a... Uh, whatever. Our understanding of the alien materials is limited at best. As we could spend years deciphering the complex manufacturing process required to produce and manipulate these substances, however, we managed to crudely adapt some of our observed techniques in our own research. Our own... Our first development, a multi-walled carbon nano tube weave, was was modeled after an unusual pattern mirrored in several of the aliens' materials. This new configuration has provided to possess a greater uh, tensile strength than any material previously recorded in known science. Adapting this fiber into armor, reinforcing vests will surely afford our soldiers increased protection on the battlefield. Huh, that's good. And there it is again, nanofiber vest made from a dense weave of nanotube fibers. The light, light, lightweight vest provides extra damage absorbed to the wearer. Okay, this is why you want to really also focus on getting Carpace armor. We continue our experiments on alien alloys and one proposed 
applications is lighter, stronger form of body armor. Our earlier tests are very encouraging. Basic armor technology research applies, re reducing research time by 50. Oh, that's good, so... I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Yeah, and I just realized I got 325 credits from the council and I only ha got 106. What the fuck? Oh well. There's no time to simply sit here and just... Why can't I get a satellite link up? 105, son of a bitch. And damn. How much does a labor laboratory cost? 120. Damn it! Seriously, what's eating up? The new up? engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Well, I'm glad for you. What was I trying to do? Sorry, my mind totally just blanked out there. Oh yeah, the Shiv. The super heavy inf infantry vehicle or Shiv is an advanced weapons platform that can be deployed in the place of a human soldier. Though extremely capable in most combat scenarios, any damage to the Shiv will require lengthy repairs. Yep, we got droids. And why not? Let's get one. Trust me, the Shiv will help out a lot in a lot of missions. All right, and how long have we been recording for? About forty-six minutes. Eh, why not? Let's go for. Let's try and get one more mission. Contact detected. And we got a UFO. All right. All right. Yeah. Scramble the jets. Engaging bogey. Nearing strike range. Yeah! Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at crash site. Interceptor sustained heavy damage encounter. Alright, send in our men. Alright. Uh, okay, we don't need uh, Powell here, but we do need Luigi. And let me, yeah, he does have an arc thrower already on him. Cool. All right. He's got Sco. Why don't I give him a? Why don't I give him a arc thrower as well? All right, yeah, let's see if we can actually capture one of those uh, crystal aliens. Not the chrysalis, those... Cr now that we've... Now that we actually encountered the chrysalis alien, we, those a creatures might actually start uh, popping up more, so we definitely have to be a lot more careful. All right, let's go. We have visual on the mission site. Setting down. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Alright, this is just like before. Operation Hidden Fog is a go. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Location confirmed. Positive enemy contacts. Already out the gate, and we already have aliens. I'm on it, Commander. Moving out. Let's see, 
45 to 6. All right, Bakersfield, show me what you can do. Got him. Knocked him right out of the sky. All right, I got an idea. Copy that. Run and gun. Run him down. Try something here. Yes, Commander. Oh, that didn't work. Ah, missed the target. Yeah, just yeah, I want to capture him, but since we already did the interrogation as well as the dissection, eh, just kill him. Scanner in the sky. Uh, I think I found the. Yep, found the UFO. Big Brother is online. Oh yeah, we got visual on the UFO. I, I hear those thin men bastards. I'm on the move. I gotta patch Mario up. I mean, Luigi Mario. Easy now, soldier. That's affirmative. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Trying to get him into a good position, but Roger Dodger. Our sniper on uh, Overwatch. Eyes peeled, Commander. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Roger 
Roger that. definitely gonna I want to pop another uh, battle scanner I do not know where these things are and I do not like that eyes open and that did absolutely no good okay I'm on it Understood. Moving out. Moving out. On the move. Definitely want to reload before going in. Ready to rock. Will do. Coming in. The calls are coming from inside the building. Ah! The calls are coming from inside the Head UFO. God damn it. How big of a UFO is this? It's a pretty large one. Why can't I get him on the scout missions? Yes, sir. Now we've actually seen the enemy. I'm rolling. On Overwatch. All right, let's pick these guys off. Trying to pull back? No, that one's just an idiot. Bakersfield, take him out. Damn. Target's still up. All right, chainsaw, take him down. So we took out two floater, two floaters, and three thin men. That's five. It's got to be one stole. I think I know what the last one is. Moving to designated position. Time to motor.
Target confirmed. On our way. I'm surprised Mark I'm surprised he was able to hear that. I heard absolutely nothing. Heading out. Positive enemy contacts. damage it, because that would kill it. I got an idea. I'll wound it so I can force it to fall back. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Alright, let's capture this. Are you kidding me? What do you mean no targets available? He's right there! Maybe I can force him to copy that. Maybe if I give him like tons of options, maybe I can cause him to uh... heading out. Either that or cause the alien to uh... uh this is a risky move. Moves over there. Nice. Fire. Nice. Apparently, I got the dumb one of the uh, whole alien army. It's affirmative. All right, I got him flanked. Tase him. Light him up. We begin analyzing this new artifact as soon as you return. Another one down. Good work, Commander. I have to say, Operation Hidden Fog is a success. We got six aliens killed. None of my men are injured. Well, okay, yeah, Mario got in. Luigi Mario got nailed a couple times. But, and we also have an outsider. And the doctor didn't scold us. And also, we stopped a terror mission in Asia. I have to say, that's a good, it's been a good day. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, 
I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. It definitely sounds like a plan to me. Uh, but I have other operations and other matters to tend to. Doctor? Or should I say doctors? Alright, Sergeant Arlo, Casino 1024. He's been promoted to Lieutenant. And Heat Ammo confers a 100% damage increased against robotic enemies. We need this. And Ar Armaeus at Bakersfield. I forgot what nickname he wanted. I think it was something Anvil. Uh, he's been promoted to lieutenant as well. Uh, hmm. Flush, fire an enemy that causes an enemy to run out of cover. This shot is easy. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. Rapid fire takes two shots. Takes two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries a 15 plus penalty to aim. 79, so 79 minus 15, so that's 64. Mm. Eh, slap, eh, slap a scope on there, it should probably be fine. Eh, we'll go with rapid fire. Because most of the time, flush just doesn't work for me. And, alright, and Luigi Mario is gonna be, man, he seems to be getting injured a lot. Well, he did live in the Mario Brothers to come to XCOM, I was expecting. Alright, we got research available. We got an outs outsider shard, a uh, light plasma rifle. Wait, we wait, we captured one? Oh yeah, we cap oh yeah, we captured the outsider. Duh. We got two floater corpses, three thin men corpses, eighteen aurelium, ninety-three alien alloys, ten weapon fragments, a flight a UFO flight computer, and three a lot of damage stuff, damn. And we have an outsider shard. Hmm, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go to the gray market. Let's get rid of all the damage crap. Hmm, nice. All right, we definitely want to get a satellite up, link up, and going. Plot. So that gives us two XCOM received transmission from two XCOM satellites plus another one because we're building it right next to another one, so we'll have three. So we'll be able to build extra satellites across the world, which is good because I think I figured out where all the money from my uh, from the council reports have been going to. It's been going into the jets. So far, they can't do anything else until they can't fire down any U other UFOs until we get satellites over other countries. So, all right, satellite so uplink is a go. Speaking of which, let's go to the hangar. Alright. Dismiss ship. Okay, you know what? Let's not. Let's see here. Okay, I don't think we need five, so, um. Um. You know what? Let's, uh keep a raven in north well, at least until we get um all right all right and th that one yeah that should do Alright. We have 44 credits. Alright. And it's gonna be a while before our next council report. Cute, and we got a shiv. That's awesome. Now we got now we got something to help us by laying down some heavy fire. 
That's awesome. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna save the game right here. Saving. Alright. Save. Uh, plus, this video just went over um, an hour and ten minutes, so this seems like a good place to, t to end off everything. All right, so we stopped a uh, alien terror attack in Asia. We captured an outsider, and I gotta admit, we did a lot of good in this let's play. Not to mention, I got a possible achievement hunter community video out of this. So I like what I see. All right, well, I'm the Madman. Stay tuned for more. Later.